Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your reading. This is going to be an intuitive general love message for new love, someone who's brand new in your life or who will be coming in. I did post a past love reading, so make sure you check that out. But just remember that energy is fluid, the roles could be reversed, and only take what you feel resonates with you. And whenever you find this reading is the right time for you. If you felt drawn to watch it, then Spirit has a message for you. So if you are coming back, welcome back. If you are new here, welcome. Just so you're aware, I do not read reversals. So if a card comes out in the reverse, I will flip it upright. This is just how I've always read tarot. Just so you're aware. So let's see, Spirit. How does this new person feel about Gemini? Whoa, okay. Uh, Five of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Knight of Cups. I mean, there's definitely a lot of interest here gemini someone it feels really good with you they also see you as someone who's like very positive very uplifting this five of pentacles is really interesting though this person could be fearful that you would leave them behind here you would end things yeah i see the death card at the bottom um you could be dealing with a water sign a pisces a cancer or a scorpio tell me about that five of pentacles no oh, five of cups okay and I see the five of swords at the bottom. So five, five, five here. This person could be going through some like uh, inner challenges here that they need to work through. There's something about their past here. There's something about they've been left behind before. Fear of abandonment can, like usually starts in childhood with a parent or a caregiver. Um, this person felt like they couldn't depend on anyone, like people will leave them. So as much as they feel really, really good with you with this Ten of Cups, Knight of Cups, uh, Gemini, someone here feels like, you know, they want to date you. They want to romance you. Now, I do love reading, so obviously it can be romantic, but this could just be a new friend who's like, I just want to spend a lot of time with you. I like you. I want to show you that I care about you, right? So take it as it resonates. They just, they feel really good. Like, look at this rainbow here. This person feels like you bring, like, light to their day. Um, again, they see you as someone who's very positive. You might be very much into like law of attraction or manifestation. You talk a lot about like positive energy, good vibes, putting that out there. This person likes that about you, but um, there's also, it's like as good as they feel with you, they also have a strong fear here that this could end or that the past will repeat itself in some way here. Anything else about that five of cups? The empress, ooh. This could definitely be very related to a mother figure. Um, perhaps they have, you know, ongoing issues with their mother in some way here. Um, if it's not that, it could just be a strong feminine energy that they dealt with in their past. I feel like it's still lingering though. So even if this person's not connected to say their mom or um, if like it's an ex-partner or just like a friend that really let them down, it feels like it's still very much on their mind. Like whatever hurt this feminine energy put this person through, it still affects them to this day here. I don't even think they're fully aware of that until they meet you. Like there's something about this connection here, Gemini, where they start to think more and more about this this mother figure or this feminine energy and how it has impacted them. They didn't really understand, like, it, it's almost like it didn't come up before. It's almost like it was just part of their being, but they didn't put two and two together here. Um, so yeah, there's, I mean, again, it could be an ex-partner here that maybe they have children with or something like that. Take it as it resonates. Yeah, they were hurt really badly. Tell me more about that, Empress could be by a Taurus or a Libra yeah something that was long term so this could be family right this doesn't have to be an ex this could be something that they have a lot of history with something that 
someone they've built a life with there's just there's there's a lot here they could still live say with with uh, their mother or say a sister or an aunt or something like that um, a strong feminine energy that has hurt this person could have even been financially that put, put this person in a hole or something like that so it's like while they feel so good about you they also kind of worry about the past repeating itself because they feel like the past is still lingering in some way here um, so just be aware of that. It's not that this person necessarily thinks you would, you are anything like whoever this might be. It's just more like, I don't want that to happen to me again, right? I feel like we all come into any situation being like, okay, what have I learned so far in life or like about a situation? Like, how do I not want to repeat those same things or those mistakes or whatever it might be? Um, yeah, this person's really trying to tap into their intuition here. But they feel really strongly about you. They feel really good. They feel happy with you, Gemini. Um, so look out for 5-5 five, five or 10-10. Ten, ten. Could be something in May or even October. Um, but let's see. What is this person's actions towards Gemini in the next two to four weeks? Could be a little less. Could be a little more. What actions will this person take towards Gemini? There's that Five of Swords. Okay, this can be self-sabotage, um, not feeling good enough in some way. Four of Pentacles, Four of Swords. I see this person holding back. Death. It, it feels like this person isn't giving it a chance before it even starts. They're on guard. This person is very on guard. Tell me about the Five of Swords. Look at that, the Two of Cups. They're sabotaging something really good here. This is my soulmate card. This is someone who just feels like a pull towards you. They can't really explain it, right? But they're sabotaging it. It's like they feel like it's too good to be true. Or like I said, it's coming underneath um, these other fives as well. Whatever this past is, this person was really hurt before. Or that situation or that person still has a grip on them, still makes them feel like they're not good enough in some way. So this person feels like they're not good enough in this situation. I don't see them doing much in the next bit here. Um, Gemini, I feel like this is someone who's thinking on it, holding back. Tell me about death. The Page of Cups and the Ten of Swords. You're getting so many tens here. Ten, ten, ten. Tell me about that Ten of Swords. Nine of Cups, look, they're ending, they're ending their wish fulfillment before, like, this, this is tricky with this person. I have to be honest with you, Gemini. It's almost like you'll have moments that are really good with this person. It feels like everything's fine, everything's good. And then all of a sudden it feels like things could be going really bad. Ending here. So... If you're kind of in this phase with this person right now, Gemini, where you're not really speaking or like things were good and all of a sudden like they pulled back or something like that, I do see a message coming with this page of cups. I do feel like could even be an apology here, but it, I don't know. There's, there's almost like a cycle here with this person. It's like things are good. Things seem to be going well. And then all of a sudden they feel, they get nervous. They, um, freak out that, that you're going to leave or that something bad will happen. And there could be like a big fight or a big ending, a rupture here. Right, and then it's it's not really what they want, though. Tell me about the page of cups, because this is the message. What is that? The magician, the ace of pentacles. Yeah, like they'll do whatever it, it takes to fix this. But I feel like there's this period where they're not talking, or you feel like it's over with this person. Right. And then they come back around. They're like, OK, whatever it takes, I'm going to put I mean, they do want to put the work in to make this work, just to have a fresh start here with you. This could be them also just like turning their pain into something good, like looking at it like, okay, I'm not going to let my past hold me back. But I do feel like there's this period where they kind of self-sabotage a little bit here. You could even feel like they're playing mind games with you. It's like, do you want me or do you not? Do you want to be my friend or do you not want to be my friend? Like it, it feels yeah, stressful here. Um 
but it feels like ultimately there is a mess it feels like to like even the way the cards came out it feels like towards the end <laughs> of this period so for some of you it's going to be you know maybe the next week there's this distance this like weirdness between the two of you and then towards the end of the second week there's this offer this apology coming in right for some of you i mean i'm just throwing out a random timeline Right? It's going to be different for everyone, but it does feel like it progresses. It's like not really talking, sabotaging, holding back, not saying much, thinking it's over, it's done. And then wait a second, like I don't want to lose my dream come true here. I'll do whatever it takes to make this work, to reach out, to have a fresh start here with Gemini. Now, Gemini, whether or not you take that offer is totally up to you. Um, Could be done with Scorpio, Gemini, Virgo, Taurus, Libra, Capricorn. If you don't hear their sign, it doesn't mean they're not here. Yeah, it just feels like the acknowledgement of how strongly they feel is exactly what scares them. Scorpio got similar energy. So if you're dealing with the Scorpio or you have Scorpio in your chart, there could be something in that message for you. Um, but ultimately, it looks like there is a message. There is like a reconciliation here or like a please like give me a chance here. Anything else about that magician? Yeah, look, four of wands, taking it to the next level, right? Letting you know that they want success here with you. They want They want to create something solid here. So look out for 444, 555, 10, 10, 10. Lots of synchronicities in this reading, Gemini. Whenever my cards sync up like that, it's Spirit's way of telling me like this is a very significant relationship in your life. It doesn't matter how long it lasts or what ends up happening. It's like it's meant to help you grow, evolve, hopefully the same for this person too, but they want you. It feels like a rough period and then the two of you coming together here now. Whether or not this rough period is so rough that it's like no thank you is up to you. But I do see an apology, a message, an offer, things moving along here. But let's see their intentions just to make sure. What is this person's true intentions with Gemini? Okay, Temperance, Sagittarius Energy, the King of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords. Interesting. What are all these courts? The Ten of Cups. This person wants to make you happy. It, it, the King and Queen of Swords here. It's like this person wants to have conversation. They want to see eye to eye with you. These, these are teammates, right? These are the two that work together. They talk things out. They communicate. They problem solve. They figure it out. But they're not facing each other the way the cards came out. This person feels like they're willing to be patient. They're willing to compromise. They're willing to sit down and have as many conversations as you need them to have. What this person sees though, is that you're very independent. You don't rely on anyone. You're very responsible. You have a lot going on. You might even have like multiple jobs right now. Um, Gemini and this person's like I want you to I just want you to be happy so if focusing on your work right now is what you need to do we can talk later but this person's willing to wait this person's like I'll wait as long as you need me to wait here they want to figure it out they want to talk to you they they want to communicate they want to understand what you need this isn't someone who would run away from conversation once it starts right but I do feel like there is this period where they hold back here because they're like they don't know what to do with their feelings. Again, very similar energy to Scorpio. Um, and you did get Scorpio throughout this reading. So tell me about temperance. Yeah, willing to be patient here, willing to compromise the Knight of Swords. Part of them just wants to go for it. See the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom again? They're like, I'm ready to just be with you right now. I'm ready to just do these things right now. But, you know, let's talk this out. I'll be patient. I'll figure it out. Whatever you need. Whatever you need, Gemini, is how it feels with this person. They just want to make you happy. They want to make sure you feel stable, you feel grounded, you feel confident, especially financially stable. Like I feel like this person wants to show you that they can be responsible, mature. They can take care of business as well. But at the end of the day, they do want to talk. What's the potential outcome though? We got the seven of wands. 
We got the Empress, we got the Eight of Cups. This person has to figure out whatever that situation is first. I gotta be honest with you. It's still lingering. Like I said, they have to, they have to walk away from that first. And it looks like they're going to. It looks like they might even block this person or just like, they're like, I, I got to protect my energy. I got to protect this new connection with uh, Gemini as well. It looks like it's going to happen. You, I feel like are the catalyst that helps. The, it feels like this person knew that they needed to do this for a long time to kind of distance themselves from whoever this is. And it looks like they're finally going to do it. So then what's, as a result, what is it between Gemini and this person? Look at it. <laughs> wow higher level of commitment here with you so if if your need if your desire if your boundary here gemini is listen you need to set boundaries with that empress that feminine energy whoever that is that mother or that you know sister aunt friend whoever it is this person's going to do it so speak your speak up this person's willing to talk they want to talk their intention here is to figure it out together and as a result, it looks like the two of you can come together here. So if that's what you're hoping, Gemini, this person, like, the, what you what would not be good in this situation is for you to just be like, do whatever you want. Do whatever you feel like is a good idea to do. Because this person genuinely doesn't really know what to do. That's why they're thinking so hard about it. You, the, the best thing you can do is let this person know exactly what you need. Anything else about the Hierophant? That's Taurus energy there. The Nine of Swords, a little bit of worry here. But the Seven of Pentacles, investment. There is fear. There is anxiety. Whether it's from you or this person, maybe both of you, you know, what if? Anxiety is always what if. What if, yeah, I mean, you can fill in the blank with a million possibilities. What if this? What if that? Right? But there is commitment here. There is investing. There is like, we're going to build on this together. I feel like there's like teamwork here. Gemini at the end of the day why the nine of swords it's almost like the very thing that you want is what is also what scares you and maybe this person why the nine of swords the ace of swords of page again it's just like there's honest communication here I am loving this about this person and you there's just openness here there's no hiding there's no deceiving there's no you know uh, so like I said the best thing is to speak up say what you need state state your needs here like there is an apology. I feel like there is, there almost is like this innocence to this person too. Like they genuinely are like, I just don't know what to do. Tell me what to do. Right. And that can be frustrating because it could be like, no, you, you should know what to do. But if this person's ever been in this situation and they just want to make you happy, which it looks like they do, they, they'll, they'll say to you, just tell me what you need. What is it? Let's talk about it. Let's figure this out. And I do see them distancing themselves from whatever that other situation is. How will Gemini know who this is? The Queen of Cups. This person cares a lot. Like they they have a big heart. They're a, they're a lover. The Seven of Cups. They're a lover. It could be a, a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, King of Wands. Could be someone who's like. You know, you might not even assume this person may have a lot of options. They're good looking. They're charming. They care, they're sweet, they're kind, they're patient, right? You might kind of feel like, oh, this person's got to have other people in the wings here. But it's, but it's not the case. I feel like this person is very committed to whatever they're doing. Why, why the Seven of Cups? They might just be confused. Like I said, they don't know what to do in this situation. Five of Wands. This person does not like conflict. They do not like arguing, tension. Whenever that comes, it's almost like this person like freezes right? You know, the trauma responses, fl flight, fight, freeze, fawn. I feel like this person is a freezer. Like they just don't know what to do. They get really overwhelmed and confused when arguments or tension comes up. And especially, um, if they had a lot of that in their past, if you two maybe have like arguments or what feels like an argument to them, it's almost like they, they, like I said, they freeze up. They don't know what to do. But I do see them distancing themselves from whatever that situation is. They'll do whatever it takes. Like I said, they'll do whatever it takes to make this work with you. Any advice for Gemini? The Hermit, Virgo energy. Remember all the things you've learned on your own, all the soul lessons, the growth that you've, you've been through. It's like there's something about you applying it now 
justice, being fair in the situation, seeing both sides of the situation. Ace of Cups, yeah, give this a chance. You got the Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups, right? The, like, it's just the beginning. Like, this can grow into something, but with Aces, you have to nurture them, right? So there is potential here. Everyone comes with a past. Everyone comes with, you know, experiences, what, you know, things that have affected them. And like I said, if it makes you more comfortable for this person to um, create distance with someone else here, they're willing to do it because it's not good for them anyway. They kind of, they kind of already knew this, but it's almost like they didn't have a reason to distance themselves from this empress until you come along. We got apple temptation will test you mm, okay fox shrewdness and resourcefulness especially in business okay and then you got the month of may like i said there's lots of fives here so it could be something coming up in may maybe a birthday broom new home new attitude so I'm trying to start fresh here and then look at forest muddled unclear thinking so this person could genuinely just like need your help to clarify, right? The king and queen of swords, like I said, they work together. They problem solve together. They figure it out. They don't think that one opinion or thought is better than the other. They're like, let's put two, you know, two minds are better than one kind of deal. This person, I feel like wants you to help them figure some stuff out. Um, Camel, persevere, persevere and you will overcome problems. Right? That's exactly the energy I was getting here, too. Oops, I said that's it. So if it feels worth it to you, um, Gemini, it feels like it could work here for sure. Look at Ice Queen, Divorcee, Mother, Discernment. Something could definitely be a strong uh, Ice Queen energy here. We got Fair Male, Lighter Than Darker. Again, only take what resonates. Young female, youthful music, fashion, and destiny, luck, chance, meant to be. So definitely meant to be with this person. Look out for synchronicities, repeating numbers, um, feathers, things like that. And look at, as I said that, look for a sign. Look for a sign, Ooh. Uh, Gemini, because the signs are there. Freedom. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness, right? Happiness is not this faraway thing that will one day come to you. Gemini, you create it. You got the Ten of Cups twice with this person. There is genuine happiness here, right? Maybe there are some obstacles to overcome. Maybe there is hard conversations to be had, but you get to choose that and you get to choose your happiness, right? Oftentimes communication is the one thing that people need but avoid. This person wants to talk with you. So speak up, say what you need to say. Um, the courageous p and &E, multifaceted, unique nature. Let yourself be seen. Mm -hmm. So the message of this card is basically like, you know, a rose doesn't try to be a sunflower. It just is a rose and it blooms and it does its own thing, right? Um, be who you are. Again, say what you need. Let yourself be seen, right? All of you. It can be vulnerable, really scary to open up and be like, look, this is my stuff or this is what I'm scared of or this is what, you know, has happened to me before. But I feel like this person wants to talk to you. They want to understand you. They want to compromise with you. They want to be patient with you. And if that feels too good to be true, Gemini, and you're sitting there saying, there's no way I would never find someone like that. That's only in movies or only other people get that. Then you have to check your thinking, right? You have to check your mindset because your, your thoughts create your reality. Your energy creates your reality. If you keep saying nothing good will come to me, this kind of energy won't come to me. Someone who wants to talk and sit down, then it won't right? You get to decide. So if you want to learn more about your thoughts creating your reality, check out my link in the description box. Um, Gemini, there's some great courses there about that, but let's see. Messages for Gemini. I feel like no place like home wanted to come out. 
Okay. Unfinished Symphony that like flipped. I feel like this is to do with that uh, situation. And then we got Fork in the Road. So let's see. You've reached a moment of truth in the evolution of your relationship. Which will you choose? To open up to the possibility of love or to remain isolated? To go deeper and commit to mutual passion or to walk away? This is a time to take responsibility for your truest desire and follow it. Be honest with yourself about what you're willing to do, invest, and give, and then choose. You cannot make a wrong choice. If you move forward with a relationship, know that it will be based in truth and authenticity. You have made a conscious decision rather than simply hanging on because you don't want to be alone or ending things because you're afraid of the intensity of genuine connection. All roads lead to the lessons you must learn in your relationships. Regardless of the decision you make, it will place you on the path to a truer experience of the heart. Wow. If that's not confirmation, I don't know what is here. <laughs> Gemini, make your choice. It can be scary to open up to be deep with someone, but I feel like it will work out with this person. Um, and then we have Unfinished Symphony, which again, I think has to do with uh, this other situation. When unfinished business casts a shadow over your life, it is a reminder that procrastination is a form of self-sabotage. It is not in your best interest to stall. Even stumbling forward is better than holding back. Don't overthink things or let yourself get distracted. Just tie up any loose ends and deliver the results. Don't quit before the, before the finish line. The spirit wants you to win. Wow. Okay. Um, it did say, like, the, it did come out in the reverse, which is the protection message um, in this deck, but I feel the need to also read the, the relationship message because I feel like there could be something in there, so I will read it. Moving on is difficult when love lingers. Things are left unsaid and you haven't had the opportunity for closure in your relationship and in your heart. You can still feel bound up in relationships when closure is denied you. It's important to achieve this for yourself. Write that letter, make that call, or have that conversation over a cup of coffee. For peace of mind, accept matters as they are, make amends if need, need be, and declare your feelings even if only to yourself. Be clear about what was left unresolved and close the door on the past so you can set yourself free. Only then can new love blossom. And then you, you, can, you get freedom here too. Right? So I don't know if it's you or this person or maybe it's both of you in some way, but it does feel like there's something from the past still lingering here. Um, perhaps it's you. Maybe there's, there's issues with a mother or feminine energy in your life that um, causes fear of commitment right or opening up being vulnerable so just being aware of that let's see okay oh only letters today so these could be initials of you of this person um maybe license plates postal codes zip codes just take it as it resonates but if something here doesn't resonate it doesn't mean that it wasn't your reading so we got h i n Y, J, S, and Z, or Z. Okay, Gemini, so I do hope something here resonated with you. If it did, please let me know in the comments down below. Please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn to do so. Thank you so much for all of your beautiful energy. I am sending you so much love and so much light.